Saturday, the 1st of September, 1666, and in Pudding Lane lives Thomas Farriner, baker to the Navy. Well, Saturday is always the longest and busiest day, he says, but make no mistake, I'll check those ovens before locking up. It's not my fault. In putting the show together, I've had fun getting inside the head of Henry Purcell. In a way, I've had to play a detective. I've made him live in a world, poor man, where it's not quite clear what is reality and what is dream. This is sort of the Henry Purcell staged show brought to life for the 21st century. He's extraordinary genius, Purcell, and, and to explore what the human side of that is in the world of his own music and in the context of his time is really exciting thing to do and, and I think the challenge has been to, to, to make it a real piece of theatre. There's something so vivid and vibrant in front of you as an audience member and you, you literally won't know where to look. So yeah, it's a, a gluttony of riches from the point of view of an audience. They're a lucky lot. What is going on in Henry Purcell's mind is I think the most interesting question and all we can do in finding that out is to imagine. Let us raise a glass and sing to Bacchus, the great god of wine. Great. <laughs>